Welcome to this week's episode of Sportsman's Journal. Tyler and I are sitting on the deck of our cabin at Everett Bay Lodge overlooking beautiful Lake Vermilion. Ah, it's good to be back. Enjoying our coffee for a few minutes before the chaos begins. That's right. And We're, it will. It will. Oh, yeah. Once we get in the boat and get all the camera stuff going, there, there's going to be some chaos going on. But we're excited to get out there, find some walleyes. We did this last year. We came. Mm -hmm. Different time of year, though. A, yes. different, a different holiday weekend. Yeah, we're here Memorial Day week. So we yeah. thought first crack at the fish. Right. It was probably going to be a little cool. Fish are all going to be just coming shallow. Well, Mother Nature said no. No. Nope. That's not yeah. what's going to happen. Uh, so ice just came off a few weeks ago, and it's been 80s ever since. Right. It's The water temp is rising, and Daryl and Debbie told us when we checked in yesterday, be prepared for shallow fish, but what they also tell you, he made your millennia. What do you, he made Darryl your day? What did he say? said slip bobbers are working. Slip bobbers are I leech. love slip bobber fishing. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, I think we're going to do pretty good because you are kind of a, I was almost, I'm going to say semi pro at slip bobber rig. You're really well, good at it. And it's Lake Vermilion. There's walleyes everywhere, right? So yeah. our goal today is to get a fish fry. Reagan's with us. Uh, Tyler's dad is here. Reagan calls him Papa Choo Choo. So our goal is to have a fish fry for Reagan and Papa yep. Choo Choo in a couple days. And Everett Bay is a beautiful place. There's lots of stuff for Papa Choo Choo and Reagan mm, to do while we right. go out, try to get some fish, right. feed the family, yep. so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> but we're excited to get out there. It's just going to be an amazing day. Right. Hopefully we're going to catch a lot of walleyes. Stay tuned. We'll go over everything with you so you guys can come up here and catch a bunch of fish. We'll be right back after word from our sponsors. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Stryker. To view their full lineup of open water apparel, head to strikerbrands.com. Coming up on a rock hump, we decided that we wanted to try rocks because it's Lake Vermilion and fish like rocks. And the walleyes are usually shallow Memorial Day, so we know we want to get probably up on top of a shallow right. rock hump. Yeah, it's crazy. 68 degree water temp already. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up and check a lot of these main lake rock humps, reefs that Lake Vermilion has. And what we're going to do is we're going to start deep side, work our way shallow. And one thing that we've noticed a lot of boats is they come up with their big motors and they're putzing around. We're gonna come in a little more stealthy, see if that helps our odds a little bit for these shallow wallies, because you don't want to spook them. So we're gonna use the Altera coming as quietly as possible. And Sarah's gonna do some scoping with the Mega Live. You can see right out here right now, we got a hump about 13 foot. And the Mega Live is crucial for us to mark fish away from the boat. But instead of coming in with that big loud motor, we're trying to be as quiet as we can. Right, and we don't know exactly what depth they're in yet, um, so. There's fish right there. There's Look at fish that. right there. Right on top of that. So we're on. So they're about 20 feet away. Eight feet. That's. And yeah. we're not spooking anything, so that's good. And so we're just going to slowly off. back out. Yeah. So they're right on the front side where the wind is hitting there. Yeah, that was Anywhere they're back from there eight now. Eight to ten. So we don't want to spook those fish. Those fish are shallow right now, and that's typical for vermilion early in the season. But when you use your electronics, use them to your best ability. Whether it's your trolling motor, come in quiet, or using the Mega Live side imaging, whatever give it is. Give yourself the best advantage. Yeah, give yourself the best advantage. I think we're gonna set up shop here. What do you think? I think this is a good spot. This looks yeah. real good. I like those. There they are, right there. Turn into the wind a little yeah. bit and get uh, her set up here. We'll Grab the our, sticks, huh? Get our leeches out and keep going. It feels like an okay starter fish on Lake Vermilion, hon. What do you want me to do? I just want you to sit there and watch your bobber. This I is mean, a fish I can, I can handle this okay. fish. You want to net him? It's a perfect little walleye. Look, Look at, at that. that. Yep. Right in the eater size frame we're looking for. I might be able to just. Oh, geez, you're there. playing with fire there. Playing with fire. Oh, my goodness. I'm so nervous. Okay. <laughs> I don't like Hey, that. you know what? <laughs> it's a starter fish. We'll take him every time, a little 15 incher. Perfect table fare. Yes, he is. But ba the first one's got to go yeah. back. That's ba cool. back, at, back at Everett Bay, literally. Five, five, that five seconds in. That was your first cast. I yeah. recast a couple times Not already. too shabby. <laughs> Put it right back in there. Look at another one.
That feels, it got looks it. good, doesn't it? Yes. That's a nice fish. That feels good. I'm getting out of there. We got excited there. Yes, you did. Sarah was checking out her wardrobe and I was like, eyes on the prize. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was funny. What do you got? I don't know. What do you got? That's a big eye. This is a big Lake Vermilion eyeball. I'm so excited. Just take her easy. Yep. I feel like my drag is pretty good. That's Pili, no, that's tough big stuff. Big head shakes, big head shakes. Oh yeah, Sarah, look at that fish. Look at that eyeball. Is that an eye? That is a huge eye. Oh my eye. God, oh Just my God, Tyler. I'm excited, buddy. <gasps> I'm excited. Just don't, don't yep. force no, her. No, no, no. Come on, sweets, get her up here. It's a big fish. This is a big one. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, this is a big fish. Big fish. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, big, huge, Lake Vermilion oh. walleye, slip bobber, <laughs> right after Memorial Day. Oh, what a way to man. celebrate. We just had to be really patient with that fish. But and and wow. this, this fish, I, that's, half my, that's half my eye right there. <laughs> I was looking at my paint. Oh my gosh, let's bring that thing up. That is an awesome, that's an eight pound walleye right there. That's what it's all about. And that's slip bobber fishing at its finest. That is Finesse technique. Right there. I was getting impatient. <sighs> I'm shaking. The prize. Okay, girl. Let's see what you got here. Oh my goodness, you guys! This is a big walleye. You got Bring the net? it up here. Yeah, I got the net. <gasps> Look at the shoulders on that fish. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. That is a thick that fish. Her is head monster. is huge. Wow. <laughs> what a way to start. Two Unbelievable. fish. Unbelievable. Twenty minutes. Everett Bay Lodge. Walleye fishing. Yeah, this is a good, this is a good morning so this, far. This is what it's all about in northern Minnesota right here. Congratulations, <laughs> honey. Wow, some fish, Sarah. And now she's ready to go back. I want to make sure that, can you move the net? Yeah. I just want to make sure that she's really well taken care of because that is a, that is a, that is a breeder fish right there. Okay. Wow. Unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> uh oh. This one feels good too. Ah. Uh, oh my goodness. The Mega Live is not lying to us where they're at. No. Sarah. Oh my is goodness. Is this not fun or what? Oh my goodness. Let's just take it this easy. This one's staying down, staying down, staying <laughs> oh down. Oh my goodness. Uh, right, how is it looking? It wants to go out to deep water. Just take it easy. I have not seen the fish yet. And I don't know if I should loosen my drag. Just no, your drag's doing perfect. Another nice it's one. Another nice walleye. Not as big, but as not, just another just nice one. Just as nice. Uh, I would say a 23 inch walleye is a pretty good one. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Big fish. <laughs> Unbelievable. Lake Vermilion. This is great. Yeah. Uh, I got you the pliers right here. Reach down and grab oh that thing. My Sweet. Goodness. This is a, a hook set right in the snout. Like unbelievable. Like just in the snout, and that's gonna probably pop right out of there. And uh, yeah, those. Number two live bait hooks, perfect size for okay, this. Okay, well I thought it was gonna pop yeah. right out, which is good, because that's why I didn't lose the fish, but that is, that's why it's important to watch your bobber go down. I always count to three in my head, and then I do a gentle like sweeping hook set. Don't jerk it, because that's gonna pull that hook right out of their mouth, but look at that beautiful fish. Oh my goodness. Sarah. That was really aggressive. I got excited. Yeah, hey, that's guy. an eater yeah. right there. Look Get him that. in. That is a perfect eater. Swing him. Live well fish. Oh yeah, <laughs> he'll eat. Nice work. <laughs> Woo. I uh, watched him come in on the live and then you said my name. <laughs> so I was like, oh, there's a fish moving in on the live. And The live doesn't lie. It's every time you take your eyes off you know your what? bobber I that think that we happens. Should put him in the live well, what do you think? All right. I think so, perfect. Might as well, yeah, yep. all right. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. Before you head out on the water, check out northlandtackle.com.
my slack right here. Oh, no. I'm letting him take him. Come on, okay. little buddy. No. I got a lot of slack. There's a fish. Oh. Good? Yeah, it's a good fish. Feels good. I'm on the other side of the boat, so you're good. That was, a, that was textbook for me. And yeah, he feels good. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited, I love this. I got the bobber, my bobber stop at about seven feet, so he is seven feet away. Oh, nice one. Then you might have to come down lower to wind. There you go, good job. It was, I had him for a second and then he <laughs> I was turned. like, oh my goodness, no, we got a big he turned his... like, wow, I get him. You did good, we got him. I didn't want to mess it up. There, there's no better sight than the old light bite slip bobber sitting in the net with a 27 inch walleye hanging need... in there. Oh, we got the pliers Got up the here pliers already. right there, yep. I'm all flustered now. It's all right, you did good. <laughs> we got him in, we got you him in. You did good. Oh my gosh, look at the, look at the body and the head on this fish, guys. This is a dandy. Look at how thick that fish is, wow. What That a is dandy. another beauty. That is another beautiful lake for me. Look how dark they are, isn't that pretty? What is going on? This is awesome. I love it. Great, great fish. And they're just, I mean, they're thick, right? Those are thick fish. Holy cow. We're gonna put him right back in there. Pipe her. See you later, sweetie. Oh, here we go. There we go. Ooh. Feels that a little bit better. I think we gotta eat. I just cast out. I think we gotta eat. Oh, eater, so yeah. you're good? I'm good. Oh yeah, oh, look yeah, at that. That's a nice one. Oh yes, it is. Perfect, 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 perfect. Um, I'm taking a gamble. No net. Ooh, you're when, sling well, it. when it comes to food, it's always you know net's always a safe bet. But I see my hook set on them. That's a perfect eater. Look at that. Fifteen. <laughs> Yield swing. Yes. Look at that. I love it. Perfect. That's a dark one. We're getting phenomenal hook sets. That guy was barely pinned. So I almost talked too soon. Whoops. That's all right. He's going straight into the pan. They flop. That's what walleyes do. And he's gonna flop right in the line. Well, take it easy right now. I got our fish, I got our fish, I got our fish. We got a wait coming. Boat drives by, walleyes bite. I, that's Memorial Day for you. Yeah, that's Memorial Day weekend. That's all right, though. Ooh, look at that. That's yeah, another that's eater. eater. I like it, I like it, I like it. Another, that's another perfect 15 incher. I'm telling you. You got little fish, when I mean little, I'm talking, that's not a bad walleye right there. No. When you got eaters mixed in with giants, <laughs> with giants, that's bound to be a good time. What a beautiful fish. Perfect for the frying pan, and that's where he's going. We're gonna have ourselves a fish pack. When we first started talking to Daryl, my bobber's going down. <laughs> I'm gonna go catch this fish. What, what did Daryl say to us? Well, we were talking about what, how we were gonna fish and what that we were gonna like a use. Good one. And you know, there's some head shakes yeah. here. And I love slip bobber fishing. Yeah. I love slip bobber fishing. This was not. What do you got? It's a better fish. Oh wow! It's a. That's a good fish. That's a borderline slot fish. Yeah, that might be a slot fish. That's that's one we're looking for. We got interrupted. You were gonna tell us all about Daryl. And his advice, that's a good fish, hon. Yes. Nice job. Thank you. Whew. We'll Let's, come back to that yeah, in a we'll second. <laughs> We're gonna focus on the fish here for just a minute. Oh, shoot. Sarah's like, nice we gotta job. talk about how good Daryl did for us. And she starts talking about Daryl and a fish bite, so that's a good sign. We need more Daryl talk. Let's take a look at that thing. Wow. I was actually gonna talk about how much I love bobber fishing. Okay. But we can, we can brag on, Whoa, okay, fish. You got a lively one there. Wow, every time I go to talk about Daryl, this fish goes crazy. <laughs> oh. okay. Say so we can brag on Daryl and Debbie for a second if we want to talk about Everett Bay for one, a minute yes. instead of my bobbers. Uh, so this fish is barely hooked, you guys, but hooked enough that I'm going to need the pliers just to pop it out because I'm not putting my fingers in by his teeth. But um, so this is our second trip up here to Everett Bay Lodge and we talked to Daryl before we came and um, about what we were going to fish for and That's a the bite has changed a little bit and we were not expecting to do slip bobbers. Look at the, that's, I mean, that's a thick fish. There's yeah. some girth on that one. That's a nice one. That's a beauty. 
yeah, down the dandy and then go back. We found out that the bite had changed a little bit from uh, when we were planning on coming up and how we got ready and what we packed for. And um, we found out that the bite was now really slow and a, more of a slip bobber right. bite. So I was really excited about it because mm -hmm. I love slip bobbers. And slip you might be the are, slip bobber expert in the rig today. I, I love it. And, <laughs> and slip bobbers are such a great tool. Yeah. They are uh, a tool that anybody can use, really universal. Pretty so fun. Northland has a bunch of different slip bobbers, different yep. sizes, uh, some different shapes. So they have a pencil and a teardrop. And we like the teardrop shape for walleyes. Yep. And this one we're going with weighted. Mm -hmm. And the reason that we're using, using weighted is because we want to be able to cast far away from yep. the boat. That is critical because of the pressure. Right. We need to stay as far away out on the structure as we possibly yeah. can. It's been really crucial to have that weighted bobber. <laughs> the other thing is simple, simple system here. Number five split shot, number size two live bait hook with our leech. Not a whole lot to it, but you have to let them take it for a second. Yeah, and you got to let them take it. You know, it. like a minnow, they're going to come in and kind of go at the head where right. your Ex hook is, but that's not what leech right. is. Take that bobber down real slow. And then, and then what? Give them I, the old three count. I count to three <laughs> in my head and I do a nice sweeping hook set. I love it. There you go, right there. Yes. That looks good too, huh? It feels better. Feels better. Should I get out of there? Um, I don't think it's huge. I'm gonna net. You. I'm gonna net it for you, though, hon. No, I don't think you need. Huh? To. No, the closer it gets to the boat, I don't. No, don't say that. I know. I like bigs. Oh, it's a, it's a decent. I'm coming. I'm it's coming. a nice. That's it's a nice 15. For. It's not. A... Oh no, that's a perfect eater. Yeah. It is a perfect eater. And he's hog tied. Hey, tied him. <laughs> hog tied himself a little bit. That's all right. We'll take him. <gasps> so, I really, really. Got that hook in there and set that hook. That's a good, those are good hooks. And get yourself a good set of pliers. And that one, he's gonna go right in the box for a little bit of a fish fry. Yeah, that's perfect size. But one. Uh, yeah, that so you have to have under a certain size or over a certain size here on Lake Vermilion. They have a slot, it's 20 to 26. And 20 to 26. And so this guy's under, but uh, you know, you still want to let anything we, we let anything over 18 go, go that's too big. So he's gonna be a perfect little fish fry. If these are all that size out here, we're there. We you're, go. You're down. There we go. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was a hook set. Wow, I just got rigged up with my leech. That's a call so to sweeping. I'm just gonna flip them over to the other side of the boat. That's a sweeping hook set. Until you tell me you don't need help or you do need um, help. You can net this fish. He's staying down. It's probably very similar to the one you just bagged, 17er, okay. which is ideal for the frying pan it's another dandy dandy fish look at oh, that yeah. yes that's a, that's a good one, one. nice okay. uh, are we having fun i'm having fun this is fun this we is need to count blast. our live well fish yep. and make sure we're we can have four at piece. our limit and and sarah mentioned that slot size you can keep one over 26 which we're not going to do but they manage this lake really well and you can talk to anybody who walleye fishes this lake consistently there are a ton of walleyes in this lake we're gonna get him right back and put him in a live well in the box northland tackles tungsten and tungsten short shank jigs these jigs fall fast and are so sensitive you can feel exactly what's on the bottom and set the hook on every bite the tungsten and tungsten short shank jigs from northland tackle we are walleye I got some good news. Yes. We made it back before the storm hits. We did. You can probably hear the thunder roll. We had little cells coming in and out all day. Yeah, that cloud cover wind. Want to mess with calm, nature. sunny. That's what happens in northern Minnesota in yeah. the springtime. But it feels like summer out here. 85 today it was it's unbelievable. Unbelievable weather. Not that you yep. can control the weather, but nope. we really lucked out. We did. And um, not usually this warm during this time of year, but. Yeah. We were able to figure out a, a pattern and yes. put it together, and we didn't really move around too much. No, we didn't. We fished basically two spots, and that's a really and good we point. Caught that's <laughs> big fish, fish, eaters. We and caught everything. All right it was in awesome. those couple spots. And it's cool when you say putting a pattern together. That's what you have to do. You got to come up here, and our pattern was nine to eleven foot rocks, main lake humps that are adjacent to deep holes. Yep. So you put that pattern together, you have the right presentation. Yeah, slip bobber rig. I love using a slip bobber, so that was a lot of fun for yeah. me. It's just kind of a relaxing, effective way right. to catch fish. And I made a decision while we were driving in. What's that? That we're coming back on 4th of July, because we came Labor Day last year, yeah. caught 200 walleyes yeah, easily yeah, one day. Yeah. And 
This, this year, day. Memorial Day, yeah. it's big fish, eaters, yeah. a blast. And so 4th of July, I can only wait to see what's gonna happen. 4th there. of July, Muskie will be open too. Oh yeah, so, Muskie will yeah. be open. And Daryl and Debbie Hoffman, the owners, owner operators, of Everett Bay do a phenomenal job. Sarah and I, it's a joy to come up here and take advantage. They treat of. you really well and they have a lot of awesome amenities and it's right here on the shoreline of Lake Vermilion. So right. it's a fishing, family, fun, resort. Vacation. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Saying. <laughs> Everybody we had a blast. If you get a chance to come up here to Everett Bay on Lake Vermilion, you need to take advantage of it. Phenomenal time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, I'll see you next week on the Sportsman's Journal. To begin planning your next fishing trip to Everett Bay Lodge on beautiful Lake Vermilion, visit everettbaylodge.com.